little difficulty initially with the stream here with the Disney Afternoon Collection, but things should be looking better now. So yeah, this is the Afternoon Collection. Uh, my controller was acting up and there was an issue where when I went to the time attack it wasn't letting me leave it. So we're just going to call that first try walk. We're going to do this another, do another shot. So yeah, this is the Disney Afternoon Collection. It is a compilation of six games for originally here in the NES. They're all inspired by Disney cartoons. There's DuckTales 1 and 2, Chip and Dale Rescue Rangers 1 and 2, uh, Tailspin, which we're not going to play because it's not very good, and Darkwing Duck. And all of them have a time attack mode, a boss rush mode. You can end up having a rewind feature, so in case you're not playing well, you can just kind of pretend that all that never happened everything is fine again. So right now we're going to go ahead and since this time the controller is actually working, I switched to a different controller, we're going to not play time attack because it was starting to like crap in and we're going to be back out of it. And we're just going to go through regular Trippendale Rescue Rangers. Always choose Chip because he's cooler, Dale's a little bit of a eh. I grew up with these titles. I mean, I really enjoyed Aladdin better. I thought that was really great. And I kind of like Lion King, even though it was incredibly frustrating. Like, there was that one, uh, I think it was the I Can't Wait to Be King level, where you had to be going from, uh, there we go, gotcha. Oh. Where you had to go from giraffe to giraffe, and there were hippos, and it was horrible, and... It was very troublesome. I have nightmares from that. Okay, this has a rewind feature. I'm not going to say, well, I've got the little zipper guy here. We're just going to get through here while we have him. But if you want to rewind, you press the L1 button. It just goes back. It's very nice, very handy.
I really like the rewind function. It's very handy. I would have loved that when I was a kid. More of those collectibles that I don't know what they do. So, yeah. Kitten was a clever disguise. Fat Cat has taken away Gidget or, no, Gadget. I didn't watch the show. How much I love those metal things. They're really, really good. Here you do get the option of picking the levels and everything too, which is nice. I don't want to lose that. You have to watch me do that because I have to. Have that. I know there's another metal canister down there, but that's not this metal canister. I have to have that particular one, even though it doesn't go with me to this next area. I mean, it's the principle of the fact. are rather rude, am I right? They didn't have to be doing that to me. For a second there I was like, okay, is this the game where I did that? Or was it Panic Restaurant that involved sitting on there to make the water go off? Mind you, there was a lot of, there were a lot of, uh, games like this in this generation that involved water being some kind of obstacle. I remember there was a Barbie game. It was where she, oh, I forget the name of it, but she was like dreaming and going to different lands and it was really good. Like it was actually a great game and I totally recommend it if any of you ever want to pick up a Barbie game. And even Panic Restaurant was difficult but it was still really good and kind of interesting. Like, I always remember the popcorn boss from that. Not because I particularly liked the boss, but just it was kind of remarkable to me at the time, I don't know. Ah! No, 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 no. Listen. I'm gonna rewind this as many times as it takes. I don't care how many times you guys have to watch me fail. That's, I mean, it's, it's just gonna happen. You're not me up there. Why would you want to even pretend to be me? There's nothing special about me. And why would aliens be in a restaurant anyway? Don't they have some place better to go and better things to do? I guess they're not particularly menacing though. I mean, all he's just gonna do is walk back and forth and pretend to be me. Maybe I should take it as an honor? Like, oh. Everything looks wonderful. So now, because you're here, you have no choice. You have to go to D. It's just 
toy store. Ooh. At least the boxes look a little bit different. Oh. They look a little bit different, so you can tell that they're going to be the ones to start hopping around like crazy. That was on me. Ooh. You know, when I was a kid, there was a jack-in-the-box that was at my grandpa's house and it never really bothered me, but it bothered my cousin so much. So, of course I was horrible and I would always like, I knew exactly how many turns it took to really start doing anything with it. So I'd be like, come on, just do this. It'll be fine, just give it a second. Hey, it's that Pokemon. Who's that Pokemon? It's Ball Toy. And yeah, just ruffle that rug. That's really dangerous. Oh. Actually, that was pretty dangerous. Okay. Let's just go this way. Go ahead, kick those boxes. That's fine. Again, rewind feature, very wonderful. Can I? Can I make that? Yeah, I could make that jump, okay. Alright. Not as dangerous as it seems, but... Oh. Boy, one more box. That was a good series. Boy is a really good series. If you haven't played it yet, you should. QB before QB got cool. Flashing 
lights and like aren't flashing for long? There we go. Yeah. It's the flashing light. Okay, I think we've had enough of this one, so... Let's go ahead and switch to a different game. I'm pretty sure you know how Rescue Rangers looks now. Let's head on over to DuckTales 2. I really like DuckTales 2 a lot. This is the whole reason why I wanted to play this collection, because... Yeah, it's just, it's incredibly expensive otherwise. We're gonna go on easy, because, I mean, I'm gonna be grinding anyway, you know? Uh, let's go with Niagara Falls. Yeah, I do believe I want to go there. So the reason I like this one best is because it's so much easier to pogo after the DuckTales remastered. It is just, I can't, I couldn't go back to the original thing. I was like, wait, why am I not pogoing? Why can't I pogo? It just, it was too much for me. So with these, you can pull these barrels away like this. There's the normal... Uh, golf swing. Let's see what you got to say. Watch your step, Uncle Scrooge. Gyro has created some rubber wraps for you. To move them, hit the side wall with a golf swing. Really? I didn't remember that. Like, uh, what was it about? Like, was he just going after treasure as usual, or? I don't remember ever seeing they're playing that. Okay. Scrooge automatically uh, clings to those, which is nice. There's Webby. Trapped in a landslide. Gotta help him out. If you do run into him, you can get upgrades, which is nice. We're not gonna go down that path because yeah, no, it's just not gonna happen. Here's that raft they were talking about. It's funny that a game about Scrooge would involve getting as much money as possible. I mean, who would have thought? Now, when you had to fly there, was it tailspin, like, flying? Or was it actually good flying? Ooh, that's kind of neat. I mean, of course Scrooge would be good at the stock market. I like the idea of uh, diving into the money vault. I mean, isn't that the dream? Oh, jeez. Why would they have to return over the plane? I mean, don't 
don't they realize, hey, we're kids? Even I'm an adult and I can't fly a plane properly in a video game most times. Come here. Get over here. I want to get you. This isn't even about getting those treasure chests anymore. You made this personal frog. Okay, fine. Fine. Frog had to go and make a personal. It was just business. No, we don't want to go home. Now we're almost done. Did you ever wonder why they put these in games? Did anybody ever actually like this? Oh, I remember that guy. I don't remember his actual name, but I remember him. Look at that leg, it's just like you remember, you know? Now that was not how that pattern was a second ago. That's not fair. sections, okay? Nobody ever likes these sections. They're not good. They're pointless. Like that, I'm not gonna bother with that. There were some levels that were kind of difficult. If you just played it on this easy mode, it was just, it was such a relaxing experience. It's very pretty. It always sounds good. Yep, yep. Okay. Like I said, it sounds good. It looks good. It's just, it's always just been a solid game.
Get that crystal flower out of there. We don't need that treasure. The real treasure was the trip. The experience. That was all that mattered, you know? Uh, let's see. Let's go with a good mojo doll. Sure, why not? And let's go with a cake. I think that's fine. I mean, like I said, we've got the rewind feature. So there's pirate ship, there's pyramids, move, Scotland. Let's head over to Scotland. Absolutely. This wasn't in the other DuckTale game. There we go. Oh, my golf swing isn't powerful enough to get it. Okay, never mind. We did that for nothing. Medusa heads in Castlevania? Seriously, those Castlevania heads were the
like how there's just no time limit here. You can just really stay for the way the castles are laid out and everything, and how everything can in interconnect. And it's just very nice. It's a good experience. It's solid design. Oh, I don't want to ride that thing. I don't like riding those things. Ah! how the characters are kind of show up to give you advice and everything. I think I missed a whole spot, though, because there was nobody there to really talk to me. Okay. I always like seeing that here. I know I could be leaping over the other side to get there in time, but, you know, it's easy to this way. Listen, after a while you get old. You just want to have stuff come to you. You start to see the appeal of those grabbers that people buy. Like, there was a time I ended up having something get lost behind the bed. I was like, man, I need one of those ones. Mom! Could do you like I have that and just kinda like keep it? You never know. Okay, we don't need to buy anything. Ah! You know what? Even though Tailspin is terrible, why don't we go play Tailspin? Just because if you want to see how terrible Tailspin is, to appreciate how good everything else is. So this is a shoot 'em up. Not a very good shoot 'em up, but it is a shoot 'em up. I don't know how suddenly the characters from the Jungle Book were in a world where like Shere Khan is a business mogul and Baloo is a shipping magnate, but that's how things go, I guess. You have to kind of like arc yourself a weird angles and... Okay, yeah, I don't want to do that. Just you can flip yourself around by pressing one button. when you're in an area that's side scrolling, you'll go the other direction. Basic stuff. People can come from the front of you and behind. No! Leave me alone! There's enough business for everybody! You know, there was actually a tail. No! There was a tailspin game that was actually good. It was on. I think it was a Genesis game that was good. Nope. I refuse to accept that. How did they build all this in the Jungle Book jungle? Okay. This is fine. 
this is everything is fine now. I have one heart. Your fault. You are a terrible kid. Ah! I hate this. Who thought this was a good idea for children? Who thought children would want this? This came from me practicing. I practiced so I would be better at this on the stream. This is me practicing to try and be better. with the bare necessities. Bare necessities means not having your own private plane. It means not having your own business. How many hits does this thing freaking take to die? Tailspin, okay? That is all of Tailspin. There's no more Tailspin other than that spot right there that we have seen. That's it. Tailspin's done. No more Tailspin ever. Okay, well, this is Darkwing Duck. I'm also not very good at it, but I actually like it, even though I'm not good at it. So. Why don't we go ahead and load up a save I have from this one? Let's also change the filter so it looks a little bit different for you. Uh, let's go full. Oh, let's go original. There. Alright, so let's go ahead and go here. Here you have different kinds of gas you can use to defeat enemies. You can pull on levers to do stuff. Ooh. I really like the mechanics. I like the way that it looks, too, just generally. Darkwing Duck is a good-looking game. It has some enemies that can be really difficult to defeat, but they're very well thought out. There we go. It really does feel like, ooh, really does feel like Goofy Batman, and I appreciate that. It does things much better than Tailspin ever could. 
Again, I'm sure there are people who like Tailspin. They don't, just don't realize how bad that it can really be. And it's kind of nice, even though Darkwing Duck you can go in any order, there are certain ones you can tell are kind of... Supposed to be able to cling up to that thing. Cling on to that thing, Darkling. There we go. You can kind of get an idea of, okay, I'm supposed to do this level first and this level next. Because the second level that I already did in this game, I did that one first I played because that one I always had the most trouble with. There were some kind of obnoxious enemies in there. Come on. Ah! There's an extra special touch there. Wait, how do I use the... Hold on a sec, I, got, I forgot how to use the gas things. Uh, how to play... Uh... Fire gun... Switch gas... Gotta go past over here. Got some more gas. I think I killed him. Ooh, health, that's good. Can always use more of that. I figure I'd rather just take the hit there. So yeah, we're already at the boss over here. Kinda hard to believe that it goes that quick, but it's really a speedy game, and I appreciate that. It doesn't really... It values your time. Banana pill guy is a bit of a jerk, but you know. Ah. Let's pretend I did that on purpose so you can see his animation. another game. Does that sound good? Uh, let's go to quit. How about we go to Chippendale 2? And what we'll do is we'll load up a save over here. That's a nice feature too to have the saves where you can just pull one up. Put it on the monitor filter and we'll go ahead and use full. That carries over from game to game, so. I forget which level it isn't too, too far in the game. I know that, but it. I figure this way we're not just going through the initial level you might have already seen. It's fine. You 
we've still got plenty of hearts. Oh, that wasn't fun. Really, those hedgehogs aren't those aren't that really bad guys. I mean, they're just doing their own thing. It's this guy here who's like a jerk. The hedgehogs, yeah, they're cool. They're just gonna walk back and forth. I mean, if anything, you're, they're, they're messing up their day. They're not doing anything to anybody. They just wanna be. You're gonna go around throwing a baseball at them. Monkeys are jerks, too. And they're tossing cats at you. I guess you could say they don't like your cat and they want you to have a new one. But I don't think they're that gracious. That's a pretty good quality hat they have there. And they're, they're not just going to throw that away. Admittedly, Chip has had the same hat on for, this is now his second game wearing that hat, so I can understand why they want to give him some fashion advice. Back then they had names. They were good about that. Okay, so grab the ball. One up is good. I like how the story segments looked over here. There was a lot of color to it. All the characters were very well defined. Monterey Jack looked better in the sequel. It just was a lot more interesting to have this and just the static images than were in the original Chippendale Rescue Rangers. 
very dynamic. I like the viewpoint right here, too, how you actually have that perspective where, okay, that really is in the background. You're kind of watching and getting a glimpse. Yeah, he's right. He knows what he's doing. He knows what he saw. Frozen solid in three minutes. I hate levels where you're timed. Nobody wants to be forced to go through something as fast as possible. The only thing worse is like in Final Fantasy VI, when it was like the time barrier there. Escape. And here, it's not only time. This is an ice level. That makes it even more irritating. That is cute though, how he's kind of like that. Okay, no more of that. We are out of time limit. Thank you. 
I like that enemies were never really too difficult either. That's fine, you're not going to be alive that long. And I like that at least one always is definitely going to be guaranteed to stay over there. I mean, even though the boss isn't that impressive, look how cool he looks. Oh, he looks. This one does change things up for the days there. Drop it like a top. Ah. Yeah, there you go. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Great what they could do with sprites back then, even when they had such a limited color palette, they can still make things look so good. Ooh, I missed. You know, is it really fair to be keeping those ghosts covered up in that urn? I mean, don't you think that when the urn was uncapped like that, maybe they were just kind of rejoicing their freedom and they were going to go back to the afterlife or something? I mean, maybe they couldn't reincarnate and move on because the they were trapped in that urn all that time? Maybe we were the villain for not letting Fat Cat just let them go. Again, it's a very pretty background there. We're going to skip that. So yeah, you get to choose where you want to go. I always kind of thought that was neat because it reminded me of the Disney Adventures in the Magic Kingdom that I played when I was a kid. It, it was this fun game where it was inspired by the park and you had to get keys. You had to go through things that had different, like, ride themes to them. We'll go with the future world. The future's so bright, I gotta wear shades. Rangers future. <laughs> ah. Hey, those robot dogs, don't they look familiar? 
that's not Ibo. You know, Tokyo, uh, what did I call it? The, uh, Tokyo Jungle led me to believe that we would be seeing Ibos survive till the end of time. They would last. And here now, this is showing me no, no Ibos? future is fallout so yeah this was the Disney collection it is available for the PlayStation 4 the Xbox one and the PC it has Chippendale Rescue Rangers 1 and 2 DuckTales 1 and 2 Tailspin and Darkwing Duck on there five of those games are amazing and it's wonderful and I absolutely recommend it I just wish it was on the switch because it seems like that'd be fitting with all those games originally being Nintendo games but who knows, maybe one day, you know? Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day today.